In the new Kendrick Lamar and Baby Keem music video, there's a cool basic effect where the video layers are stacked on top of each other, which is pretty simple to do, but I'm also gonna show you the trick where you can stack different sizes and shapes of squares and not just your standard rectangle. My name is Justin Odisho, and let's jump into Adobe Premiere. I'll show you how to do this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is have a clip that sustains itself for a decent amount of time. The next thing you're gonna do, if you notice on your video track layers, you have one, two, and three by default. Remember, you can always simply drag a video clip higher on your track, and that will create a new layer. So video track four, if you just drag it up, it'll create a new one as well. Or you can also right click and add tracks. That'll add as many tracks as you want, just so you have a couple to work with. Um, you know, if you wanted six different things playing at the same time, you're gonna need six layers. So let's say I have this video clip on top of the other one. Traditionally, you can just highlight that clip, go to the effect controls panel, and decrease the scale from 100 to something smaller. If you're working in the program window and you have your selection tool active, you'll notice this blue bounding box appears with the anchor point in the middle, and you can even just visually drag it over. New versions of Premiere have this centering feature, which allow you to snap things to the corner or snap to the center, which can be useful. But I can just pull corners, move things around. Now that's how to stack standard picture in picture, but what if you want to do cool, interesting shapes as well? Let's say I wanted to stack another clip on top. First thing I can do is scale it down. But another thing you can do is go to the effects panel and search for the crop effect. And you can add the crop effect onto this clip and you can crop in from the left or the right or the top or the bottom. And you can do little rectangular crops to really get this collage sort of effect. And not only can you do that, you don't even have to scale down. So let's say I have this clip fully scaled in. You can even scale up if you want. And then I add the crop effect from the effects panel onto this clip. In the effects control panel, I can now do the same thing and just have like a portion of this showing. Uh, I can even move the X and Y position over if I wanna have that happen. So it's not just that you can do this with scaling, you can also create different cool shapes and rectangles with cropping. And maybe you wanna get experimental and create just like a little sliver. If you really wanna get experimental, you can also animate these with keyframes. So you can click the stopwatch icon and maybe you can slowly make one of these stripes expand out or one of these things expand out a little bit. And that could open up some interesting possibilities. But really, I think the most uh, interesting visual aspect of this technique is just keeping all the stationary frames popped up. But the difference is inside of those frames of just the different colors and lights and shapes of different video clips playing at the same time can create an interesting visual collage. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out hundreds and hundreds of more on the playlist on my channel for free and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. You can also check out effects and presets on my web shop if you wanna save some time and just get drag and drop effects, justinodisho.com shop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.